Welcome to the second week of the Styles Manufacturing Solutions Series. I'm Andrew Swanson, and I'm excited to kick off this week with our digital solutions team. You might not think that you're a digital company, but by the end of this episode, you might think differently. My co-host Christina sat down with one of our digital solutions team members to talk through some of the content we're covering today. Everything from cloud to label printing and so much more. In our last episode, you saw me sitting in this chair talking to one of our experts. But this week, in light of it being digital solutions, we're going to take this interview digital. Does this format look familiar? Many of us have embraced video conferencing and it's become part of our everyday lives. It's basically us embracing a new digital solution. But how are digital solutions transforming our industry? Today joining me, I've got Alec Langridge, Digital Specialist at Styles. Alec, hello. Hi, Christina. Thanks for having me. You bet. In today's webinar, we are going digital. And this might be a completely new concept to some people. Alec, what does digital really mean? Just like many things, a digital solution can mean different things to different people. Well, I think for me, digital means paperless, right? For example, you save things in the cloud, automations and all those things, pretty much paperless. <laughs> mm, streamlined is the first word, convenience. Uh, new, modern, convenience, ease. In my world, it just means you know, it's, it's kind of how we go about life now. Digital to me is the interconnectivity uh, over the web. Uh, it's the direct connection we can have with one another without actually having to be in person. Um, it is the future, it is what we are going towards, and hopefully what we can stick to. We want that diversity though, we like that diversity. We want to tailor these solutions to each and every customer. We like to say digital solutions is one that uses digital technology to solve a problem, simple. We're in a data-driven time, so therefore, want you to have the ability to generate, store, and process the data to transform your business. Just hearing the word digital can cause some apprehension for some. Alec, you talk to manufacturers every day. Can you tell us what you're hearing from them? For sure. Yeah, each and, each and every customer is completely different. Um, however, we usually see about three things. Um, the first is too many options. Customers don't know where to start. The second one, they think they're too small. And the third one would be just too little time. Even today, um, people think that they're too busy for, for anything new. So how do we ease those concerns? Well, those concerns are very valid, but we see them as opportunities to better inform our customers. Software really is not as scary as most people think. It can be easy, and even simple changes can improve your day-to-day -day operations. So we think about digital solutions in terms of incremental process. You may be using a pen and paper to track your orders today, so don't think by any means the next step has to be virtual reality. There's a misconception that really money, complexity, and choice are the biggest barriers to entering the digital world. Um, but in reality, the biggest challenge with digital solutions is also time. You know, be patient, be open, you know, be ready to take the digital journey. Because um, we really, we're really ready to take that with you and this is completely a partnership. So why would a manufacturer want to take this journey? There's many reasons. A few off the top of my head, uh, maybe increased efficiency, higher throughput, uh, growth opportunity. I mean, many people are trying to get into new market opportunities and new markets. Um, consistency, uh, reduced error and rework parts. That's a huge one, as well as speed. I mean, the biggest thing is trying to get quick and accurate information from the office to the manufacturing floor. So what's our first step? How do we get started? The easiest place to start is simply by storing data in a flexible and omnipresent location, the cloud. Let's let my colleague Ben Williams tell us more. So what is the cloud and how does it impact our personal and professional lives? We've heard about this concept being used on all sorts of hardware or social media platforms, but why it's important isn't always clear. What can it do for me? 
Well, let's take a look at this thing called the cloud. No, not that cloud. This cloud. The cloud is what powers many types of innovations, especially the ones that allow us to keep in touch remotely, collaborate, and communicate effectively from anywhere in the world. The cloud powers everything digital, from self-driving cars, cell phones, and other mobile technology, even running credit card transactions and other entertainment services, and so much more. It's also a great place to check out pictures of cats. Watch Gordon Ramsay give food critiques. Are you kidding me? Get into arguments with strangers. Binge watch our favorite TV shows. And even level up on some Candy Crush. Delicious. So who's using the cloud? You. You are using the cloud in other cloud-based services like Netflix, Spotify, and even Amazon Prime. How does it accomplish this? Think of it like a superhighway for data. Let's consider email on your phone or other apps you may use to access your online banking information. As you access the information on the app, you're working with information that is transmitted and stored on servers in highly secure data centers and backed up there. That means if your phone is lost or destroyed, you can easily restore what is lost through the cloud. This is all well and good, but why is software becoming more cloud-based in the first place? There are a number of reasons. Reliability. Also, connectivity and accessibility. But there's also another big factor that might hit a little closer to home. Cost savings. The cloud offers huge cost savings on what otherwise was natively installed software packages. No more losing those expensive CD-ROMs again. There's also little to no integration. The price of the software or service is less, and the user interface, what you see on the screen, requires less support in both technical and training, meaning you get up and running much faster. And you also get the most updated versions. No more paying for legacy software. This also means the cloud offers an increased level of flexibility. And that means giving you ultimate control over when you pay. No upfront software purchases or bulky purchase agreements and no confusing integrations that require shutting down production and disrupting operations. Ben is right. With the simple embrace of cloud-based storage and technology, you'll immediately see a reduction in legacy software costs, flexibility in your processes, more control over your data, and better communication and options. At Styles, we have already found a way to connect your factory, your office, and your people through the cloud. Get ready for the digital world in woodworking with the cloud platform Tapio. This is Mr. Cass. He is the managing director of a woodworking company. He knows that digitization is becoming increasingly important. His machines are already networked and communicating with each other. But with the aid of a cloud platform and the IoT, Mr. Cass can take the production to a new level. What is behind this? IoT stands for Internet of Things. This means that machines and other everyday objects are networking with the Internet and can independently communicate with each other. The data is exchanged through a secure storage space on the Internet. This is called the cloud. But how will Mr. Kess's company become part of this? It's simple. With Tapio, the open cloud platform for the woodworking industry. It centrally combines Mr. Kess's machine data on an internet server and evaluates how it can be optimized. His anonymized data and that of numerous other cloud users are creating the foundation for new product developments. These will make the production even more efficient and transparent. Here is an example. Mr. Kess uses an app to get an overview of the costs and machine utilization, and this across all company locations. He can be confident all data are in the best hands because Tapio uses the highest data security standards. In the event that the data ever get lost locally, Mr. Kess easily retrieves them with a few clicks from the cloud. The machine operator, Mr. Barth, remotely controls his machines. He uses his smartwatch, for example, 
to monitor the production progress and the condition of the machines. This gives Mr. Barth flexibility and freedom, which he can use for things such as brakes. If a problem arises, the app notifies him with an error message. This is accompanied by a suitable solution based on experiences from the cloud. The production planning and maintenance also profit from Topio. Thanks to a real-time overview of the machine conditions, the production is much easier to plan. Repairs are scheduled proactively since the system provides current information on the condition of a machine part. Another advantage is that even partners and tool manufacturers are linked through the open platform. Great! Mr. Kess and his team are delighted. Tapio takes the work of their company to a new digital level. Thanks to transparent processes and new digital product solutions, they can relax because they know the business and the machines are running. You too can benefit from the global network of the woodworking industry. More information about Tapio is available here. Tapio. Digital. Wood. Works. Let's hear from an expert. To give us a better understanding of what this type of technology can do, we reached out to an expert. This is Jan. Jan is an expert in all things IoT, that is the Internet of Things, and is one of the gurus at Tapio. Tapio is blazing the trail in the woodworking industry by developing the most advanced cloud-based apps and services. Let's see what he has to say. Tapio is a cloud-based technology platform, um, so you can use the power of cloud-based technology. So that's a big advantage uh, when you work with Tapio. So first of all, um, you can have like those applications, your data is available not only in your production, so it's available worldwide. It doesn't matter where you are. You can sit at home, uh, you can be on a business trip and just have to take a look on your actual live monitoring machines straight from the production floor. Uh, you can use service board, for example, outside of the production. So that's basically your data is available worldwide. Another thing is really the power of cloud-based applications. So really the performance is super high. Um, so you don't have any uh, latencies or any um, time you have to wait for your data. And uh, another big advantage is with working with Tapshu, it's an open ecosystem. So we are a cloud-based technology platform with no limits. So everybody's welcome to work with Tapshu. So it's not that we are limited to specific brands or specific applications. So basically everybody who work with the Tapio mm -hmm. can provide benefits for the customer. The information goes strictly out from the company to Tapio. So that's basically the first security port we have here. Uh, another thing is that we are based on Microsoft Azure. So we have all the security standards uh, Microsoft is providing for cloud-based applications. So we have the highest standards in the industry as well. Uh, and third of all is really we're using HTTPS as our communication uh, form. So there we also secure all the data um, transactions. And last but not least, I mean, our servers are like in Europe. So we have that uh, law called DSGVO in Germany for data protection for personal data. So we are like um, following those rules uh, in terms of protecting the personal data. I mean, that's one of the big advantage if you work with um, mobile applications or with uh, in, the, in terms of digitalization. So because we're also working on, on SaaS uh, software as a service. So that means like you can get your licenses for machine board, service board or HOMAC application on a monthly basis. So you just buy the license and you pay month by month and you can also quit the contract month by month. That means like you don't have a big investment for one or two years where like um, maybe you have applications in a package where you don't have any benefit out of it. So you really get only those applications where you have a real benefit for you and then you pay it on a monthly basis. And then you try it out four or five or six months and then you see if it's, it's, if it's worth it or not. And if not, you can just quit it. So you, it's like the investment is super low and that's a big advantage here in terms of using those applications. This looks awesome. But some people are concerned about data privacy in this digital landscape. So how do we respond to that? Yeah, we understand privacy is completely vital. 
Um, we not only partner with customers, uh, we have partnerships with Microsoft as well. So it's the same protection standard shared with the United States government. Uh, Microsoft Azure is really the most secure platform available. Well, if your data is secure, then digital solutions aren't that scary, especially if you have the right partner. Exactly. Yeah, some digital experiences can be very cut and dry, maybe in the past, very transactional. We really value relationships. Um, and we have the resources and the knowledge to walk you through this journey from start to finish. Well, what about those who've already embraced the cloud in Tapio? What's next on their digital journey? I'll let Ben explain more. Once subscribe and try has been completed, it's time to start your cloud powered journey. Whether you're a small, medium or large scale production operation, there's something for everyone. Entry-level solutions, or those who just want more control over manual processes, have options for cloud-based product design. This also includes options for optimization and nesting, and makes screen-to-machine processes even more fluid. Once parts are labeled, storage and assembly apps help keep parts organized, and can even provide assembly instructions when the time comes to assemble. For those wanting greater levels of automation or tailored levels of customer interaction, let's consider more advanced hybrid solutions. Let's step away from the manufacturing floor for a moment. What if you could design your dream kitchen online without having to deal with nagging salesmen or pressured situations? If only you could design your kitchen online just like that new sports car. Whether you have a visual mindset or an architectural mindset, we have you covered. With IXNet or Designer Web, you can design your dream kitchen, closet, bathroom, or whatever your imagination can come up with right in the comfort of your own home. Full web-based applications allow for easy customization and purchasing of that dream with just a few clicks. This solution also allows you to render your designs with lifelike images. Need some help with designs? Don't worry, with IX Plan and Designer 3D, we bring the specialist to you. Whether that be remotely via Microsoft Teams or Zoom, or right in person, we can collaborate with the experts to bring your dreams to life. The semi-cloud-based application allows for designing right on the fly with all the manufacturing data, pricing, as well as visuals, right with the customer, while still having a seamless connection with the manufacturing floor. Another benefit of working with this type of solution is to only use what you need. This a la carte method keeps costs down and gives users the flexibility to use only what they need. Many applications and services can be tried and subscribed a la carte to find the right combination for your needs. Support is also a critical area for any software solution. Let's take a look at some of the available support mechanisms for your cloud or locally integrated digital solution. Regardless of the size of our operation, we're all going to need technical expertise at one point or another. Some apps show us real-time machine activity and state changes. We can also see remaining time for jobs and percentage complete. Looks like there's an error on the edge bander. Let's check it out and get it resolved quickly. We can also request support when needed, submit technical support calls, use remote diagnostics, including screen sharing, order, price check parts availability, and even evaluate machine maintenance data. We can also share machine error data and efficiency information with our handy technical support department for faster and more accurate troubleshooting. 
All this results in faster response times, lowering costs, and getting back to work faster. Well, we've reached the end of our journey. Hopefully now you have a better understanding of the cloud and how this technology is shaping the future of our industry. Thanks for watching. Now back to you, Christina and Alec. Those are the concepts that frame the next step. From those concepts, we have a wide range of digital solutions for you. For example, part labeling. We saw some clips in process in Ben's video. Maybe you're doing this manually now with a Sharpie. Maybe you want to look for a tailored solution for your existing process, depending on your geographical location. Another digital specialist, Alan Huffman, has more. Good morning, and thank you guys. Again, my name is Alan Huffman, and I'm the software product manager and senior software consultant here at Styles Machinery, coming to you live from North Carolina. Today, I will be discussing the importance of part labeling and part identification. The major topics for today are, number one, why do you want to print part labels? Number two, what types of information is available for labeling? Three, the different types of labeling and that are commonly used in our marketplace today. And lastly, the different methods of applying those labels. Well, now the big question is why? Why do we want to produce part labels? Well, the number one reason is for easy, simple part identification as soon as the part has been produced off the saw or the CNC router. Companies have been identifying parts in different ways with markers or pencils in the past. Today, with labels, we can get much more sophisticated with higher quality information. Uh, labels reduce the amount of paperwork for which you have on the shop floor. And in, instead of having stacks of papers that uh, go through the shop for a, each job, we can now put all this relevant information on the label itself. This helps the shop floor personnel to know where each part is and where it needs to go throughout the operation. Like for a saw, going to the bander, going to a CNC machine, going to assembly and so forth. This results in less errors, quicker production time, which equals less cost, which in turn saves you money. So what information or data can be or is relevant for the part labels? Well, this can be different from shop to shop, depending on the types of machinery that you have and the different types of production operations that you're using. But understand that it is very flexible and very simple to change today. The amount of information is practically or virtually unlimited as long as we can have the data available in the cut list for which we pass into the optimization or nesting software, we can pass this information directly onto the label itself. It's very important and to understand that accurate part data is one of the most critical parts of information. And then that again is important for the part labeling systems. Next up, we have what we call a smart part or a smart label. This is a way to enrich the labeling information so it's the optimal amount of information for the operators on the shop floor. Starting off, we have two different barcodes. It's actually the same unique part identification, which is this is commonly used if you have a fixed scanner in front of an automatic edge bander. So no matter what orientation the part is in fed into the bander, the barcode can be read very easily. Second up, we have this arrow here, which is the first feed through direction. So the operator can easily identify what side of the part goes into the edge banner first. We also have here and around through here is an edging diagram, which again gives more information telling the operator exactly what edge banding goes on what side of the part and in which sequence it goes. In addition, we have this black line over here, which is called the zero line. This again is information that can be used for a CNC operator, for example. So knowing which direction is the edge of the part that needs to go on a CNC machine. We also have a lot of text information about the part description, the material, 
We also have routing information starting here that it goes from the saw, the edge pander, the CNC, and into assembly. Uh, we have a lot of real estate here in the center of the label that you can put uh, additional information about customers' jobs. So again, this is one example of what we call a smart label to help you run a smart factory. So now, what are the different types of label? And what is the best type of label for your application? As you can see on the screen, there's a lot of different sizes, there's a lot of different colors, and all labels are not created equal. Um, we have to determine what is the best label for your application. How visible the label is for the operators, whether they need to see it uh, on the edge of the part or on the face of the part, depending on how you transport them through your factory. Uh, another common idea you need to consider is the type of adhesive on the label, whether it's removable or it's permanent type of adhesive. Because most of the times people want to remove the labels, therefore they need to have a removable adhesive. With that being said, another topic is the type, whether it's a paper or poly label. Paper is more common, it's less expensive, but it is more prone to tear and is more difficult to remove in some cases. Where the poly, poly label is more durable and it is very easy to remove because it will not tear as you remove the label itself. So now we talked a little bit about the size of the label. On this screen, you'll see some examples of edge labels uh, and face labels uh, with different barcode types. Uh, the, typically the edge label is going to be anywhere from half inch, three quarter inches thick. Face labels anywhere from one to four inches tall, anywhere from three to four inches wide. Um, the different types of barcoding, we have a 1D barcode, which is the most common, typically used for uh, just a CNC program name or a part name, limited number of characters. Uh, we also have in the second label there an example of a 2D barcode, which can handle a lot more information, which if you have to have customer information or additional program, multiple programs, uh, so the 2D barcode can contain different characters and so forth. Then there's the RFID label, which is a programmable chip. And then the rest is an antenna, which the RFID removes the ability or the necessity for a person to scan the label itself. So you'll have uh, antennas up where a part or a product will go through a portal and the label can be read automatically without a human scan. And then the type of printer, uh, we highly recommend a thermal transfer industrial printer, which is designed for a uh, production environment. So the label printer will last in, in the dusty environment, which we tend to have in a woodworking environment. The last segment I want to talk about today is about label application. We have manual apply and automatic application. First, we're going to be talking about our digital solutions, uh, Home Ag Cube, which is our digital assistant, which is cloud-based. We have a sliding table saw. We have a Home Ag Cube attached to the internet with a screen and a printer attached. So as you'll see on the screen, as we're cutting apart, the operator will then walk over to the screen right there, press the uh, button, the label will be printed, and he can place it on the part. So that again is using the Home Ag Cube system. That is again a manual apply. Second manual apply is on a Home Ag panel saw. Here, the label printer is right at the out feed of the air float table. So as the parts are being cut on the saw and in the sequence that they're being produced, the labels are printed. He applies the label directly to the part. And then the next part is there. So now the labels are printed in order and now he can sort the parts and put them on to the outfeed station. And lastly, on the manual apply, we have our Concept2 router. Right now it's currently outfeeding a nested pattern. Our operator, Greg, will walk over and you'll see a printer there that the labels have already been printed for this pattern using the CutRight online label PC in the sequence that they need to be placed. So he places the label manually on the parts now he can take the part, put it on the traveling cart, and then again, as he removes all of the parts, then the next uh, parts will be coming onto his area so he can apply the label. So the next topic is auto apply labels. 
First, since we were talking about Nesta Base Router, this is our HomeAg Concept 3 auto application. So prior to the nested sheet, all of the labels are printed and applied on the area where the parts are going to be produced. So again, this is prior to the nested base solution. So now you'll see the router come back, grab the sheet, and pull it onto the spool board so it can begin cutting the parts. So all of these are again pre-labeled panels prior to the nested sheet. The next is another automatic pr uh, printing system on a home egg saw. This is from the pressure beam printer. So in this case, you'll see three different strips. And as the saw pulls back, you'll see the printer on the pressure beam printing and applying the label automatically to the parts. So now all the operator has to do after the cycle is done is pull the parts away from the air float table and put them directly onto the sorting area on the outfeed so they're already labeled and ready to go to the next operation. And lastly is the HOMAG label table system. This is typically inside of an Intello store or material handling system and can be attached directly to a saw like it is in this case or uh, behind the CNC router. So you'll see that the panel is placed and then the label applicator and printer together in one will now come out and label the parts. Again, this is prior to cutting. So now this is all occurring right before the panel gets cut. So again, this is another example of our automatic labeling systems here at Home. Now this concludes this segment of the presentation about part labeling. Thank you very much for the time and opportunity. I'm gonna pass you back now to Christina and Alec. Thanks guys. We just heard from Alan about a number of different types of labeling options, but Alec, why would a manufacturer need to label? Can you take us through that again? Yeah, for sure. So some of the reasons may be understanding part flow through the factory floor or speeding up assembly and understanding machining information with smart parts. Also having paperless systems and assisting to overcome language barriers if necessary. Part labeling is clearly worth the investment. Well, how do we begin a conversation on what's best for a specific company? Yeah, each company has its own differences and there's also some similarities. Um, but ultimately, it'll depend on a lot of different factors that you could ultimately talk to your local sales rep or you could talk to your local uh, digital solution specialist um, if you need something specifically tailored towards your organization. Sounds like we've got a great team here to support manufacturers of any size, Alec. Yeah, we sure do. Again, this is a partner journey. We're here to help. Great. Well, let's recap. We've improved our storage capacity and improved our data accessibility with that cloud-based platform. And we've optimized our factory efficiency through part labeling. So as we continue this digital solutions journey, what's next in our destination, Alec? So now the focus is your relationship with your customers. How do they perceive you? How can you improve their experience? Close your eyes for a second. Imagine thinking of an idea for a customer's requests and having to draw your thoughts on a bar top napkin. Everything in 2D, unless you're an amazing artist, but nonetheless, hard to show the bigger picture. Step out of the 18th century and into the design of the 21st century with virtual reality, mixed reality, designs right on the fly in front of the customer. That is becoming a standard in our day-to-day -day lives. As we continue down the road of digitalization, it is becoming more and more important to give your customers the experience they expect. Whether you're buying a new boat or car, designing a guitar completely from scratch, or pondering your dreams, configurators are becoming a thing that we all have used. Now you can bring a virtual showroom into each customer and showcase your personalized offering no matter what you produce. Let's backtrack for a second. So Christina, picture yourself in the market for a new truck. You see one sketched up on a piece of paper. You potentially see the dimensions and the specifications. Are you going to buy that truck? <laughs> no, Alec, I'm not. <laughs> well, what if I was a professional artist and then gave you that sketch? Would, would you be willing to buy that one? I'm going to say, Alec, still no. Well, honestly, 
what if I could get it to you where you had a 3D rendering, you could almost open the hood, open the doors, sit in that driver's seat, and it potentially even honk the horn. Would you buy it then? Well, Alec, I would say to you, let's open my checkbook, or maybe I should be saying, I'll Venmo you some money? Perfect, I'll send it to you. Now bringing this more into the woodworking industry, we as Styles offer a plethora of solutions that focus on bettering operational ex excellence for you and your customer. Let's discuss two platforms that give your customer an experience they'll never forget. Yeah, the first is Homemake IX. And to tell us more about that, we've got product specialist Omar Gonzalez. So as we have seen, going digital isn't as scary as we might have thought. And today, I'm going to show you how what has already become the normal for most of us, which is buying online, is something that could be done for furniture as well. With IXNet, any company can have their catalogs accessible via a login and a password and have the end consumer choose their cabinets and they could even customize them to, by color, by size, select the hardware that they need, and finally place the order, which will then be scheduled for production. As long as you have either a tablet, a laptop, or a computer with access to internet, you'll see how easy it is to go from measurements in your house, selecting from a catalog, adapting it to your needs, and placing that order. Let's follow through the process of what will that look like. You're sitting at home, you have taken some measurements, and you noted them on a piece of paper. Once you know what kind of cabinets and sizes that you need, you can then grab your device, start the website, and start making those notes a reality. Now you might be thinking, how sophisticated of a device will I be needing to jump into the ordering site? And you'll come to know that it's nothing out of this world, any tablet, any laptop that has access to an internet browser will allow you to have access to the ordering site. Browse through, the, through a variety of options, select what you need and place the order. Now, how long will this process take, you might ask? Well, it goes in proportion to the amount of cabinets you'll be buying and how thorough your selection of options will be of those cabinets. And it shouldn't take you more than 30 minutes to place an order with cabinets tailored to your needs. As you'll see next, through an internet browser, you'll be able to access the ordering site that will greet you with information regarding the company, with what's new sections on the website. And once you're on this website, you'll be able to have a choice of variety of catalogs from full-blown sample kitchens that you can then tailor those cabinets to your needs up to the catalogs that have allowed you to select individual cabinets and then customize it to your needs, to your sizes, to the color that you want, or the type of wood grain that you like to see it on them. Now, as you can see on this video, we'll be using an iPad. As you log in, you can then open the online site where you're gonna encounter different catalogs depending on what cabinet manufacturer had uploaded as options. Once you finish your selection and you customize your items, you can have a quote and then you can place the order. As you hit the schedule basket button, this will automatically show up in the production facility as well as automatically generating the files necessary to produce the parts with the drawings, labels, CNC programs, and bill of materials. As you have seen, nowadays, just as simple as few clicks of the mouse or a few taps of the finger, the consumer can have the experience of selecting their individualized cabinets suited to their needs, and just like that, have them being manufactured for them. I hope this helps clarifying how ordering furniture online is not as scary or difficult as we might think. Back to you, Alec. Omar is right. With an AutoCAD platform like Homeag IX, what was once thought impossible has now become possible with the seamless integration within your manufacturing facility. On the other side of the spectrum, we have just a solution for catalog-based configured order organizations. Built right within a graphic product platform, high-end renderings, 3D shareable designs, and panoramic views are just a few clicks away. Alec, can you tell us more about 3D visualization? Absolutely. So as referenced in Ben's presentation earlier, 
Whether you want expert designers working with customers at their home using quick rendering tools like Designer 3D, or you have a web-based platform that the customers are using at their leisure, there are solutions that fit your sales style. The flexibility and customizability of Configurator 3D allows you to create a design space specific to your end user. You can then walk through their job as a virtual mock-up or store display. Realistic and accurate 3D renderings differentiate you from your competition and can substantially improve your business. Studies show a nearly 40% higher conversion rate when using 3D renderings as opposed to 2D static images. There is also evidence that 3D modeling can improve average sales prices up to 30%. Just think of the last time you wanted to custom order a product or service. If you wanted help from experts, you could ask. If you didn't, an online configurator tool was likely available at your fingertips. Shouldn't the case be the same for your customers? These tools help you get more business quicker while giving your customers the opportunity to almost touch and smell their dream designs. These are Configurator 3D renderings. Notice how realistic they appear. Lighting, shadows, high gloss panel reflection, spatial accuracy, even texturing details visible from afar. It's almost as if you took a picture of a finished job. What's better than an image? How about a panoramic view? Virtual reality. You and your customers can now virtually walk through these designs. Even better, you can now share these virtual realities directly with your end users. Limit travel and scheduling time by allowing them to explore for themselves. Customers no longer need to imagine. Now they can see their future home or office while standing in it themselves. Whether you are currently using hand sketches or already advanced in the visual world, Configurator 3D can help you take the next step into an unforgettable customer experience. Alec, we've been on quite a journey today. Yeah, that we have. So you know, digital solutions are becoming more and more important and the digital revolution is coming. But Styles is your solution provider. So whether you're currently operating with pen and paper, you're fully immersed in the digital world, or you're lost in the clouds, with a partner like Styles and your connections in this landscape, we can navigate this journey together. Software is not scary. No, it's not. Alec, thanks for joining us today. Absolutely, thank you for having me. Thanks for joining us today on our journey through digital solutions. I hope you think a little bit differently now about whether you're a digital company or not. If you have any questions for members of our team or would like more information on this series, please visit stylesmss.com. At the end of this episode, a survey will appear on your screen. We'd love your feedback. Join us next week as we focus on CNC. We'll see you next time.